Hey boys and girls, how are you today? Hopefully you're having a good Friday. If your house is like mine, there's a lot of rain going on outside. So you're probably thinking, I have to stay inside. What's a cool activity for me to do? Well, I'm glad you asked. We've got a great activity today. Make your own ice cream. How awesome and yummy. So all you need is a few ingredients that you already have at your house. Start off with a tablespoon measurer and a half of a teaspoon measurer. You need a measuring cup that is a third of a cup. You also need a liquid measuring cup for one cup. You need a sandwich baggie that, sit, that seals at the top, one that you'd like to put a sandwich in, and then a big gallon Ziploc bag that also seals at the top. And then in terms of the food kind of things you need, you need some salt, some regular sugar, some vanilla extract, and some milk. You can use pretty much any kind of milk you want to. We had 2% milk in our fridge, so that's what we'll use. But you can just use the milk that you have in your fridge at home. Now, once you have all of your ingredients set out, you'll want to follow the first step. I've got my computer behind me that has all of the directions and I will put the directions online for you. Look at the comments and the description below in the video and that's where, you're find, where, where you'll find the list of instructions. So let's begin. Alrighty, step one is to take our smaller Ziploc baggie and fill it with the ingredients that are gonna turn into the ice cream. So you wanna open it up and then you can set it down for a second. We're gonna take one cup of milk, pour that in there. Once you get it to the top of the line, the one cup, wanna open up the baggie and pour the milk into the bag. Now, you want to get the other ingredients, but so that your milk doesn't go all over the counter, Go ahead and quickly seal the bag. That way when it sets down, milk doesn't spill out. And next up, you wanna open up your sugar and you wanna grab your tablespoon measurer and stick it into the jar of sugar. And oh, that's not quite a tablespoon, there we go. Get a tablespoon of sugar. Now you can open up the bag and dump the sugar in. Set your measuring thing down. And go ahead and shut that bag with the milk and the sugar again, because you gotta measure the vanilla and you don't wanna get the vanilla everywhere. Now, I'm doing this by myself because Miss Nicole's helping me with the camera, but if you have a sibling or a parent who's helping you, you don't have to shut the bag. One person can hold the bag open while the other person puts the ingredients in. The next thing you wanna do is take your half a teaspoon measuring cup and pour vanilla into it. Now we want to be careful with the vanilla because it can come out kind of fast. So once you get your vanilla poured in there, just like that, you want to carefully open up your bag. I got, I got. Open up your bag and dump the vanilla in. You can set your measuring cup down and you can shut the bag of the milk. Close. Now, if there's any extra air, you want to push it to make sure there's not a whole lot of extra air on the inside. All right, girls and boys, you want to take your bag and fill it up with ice. Not all of the way, but like maybe this much. And take some salt, your third of a cup, and dump your salt down in the ice. Take your bag with the milk and drop it in the bag. Go ahead and... Get some of the extra air out and zip the bag shut. Take a towel, set the bag in the middle, and fold the towel up on the bag. Oh, I got a little too much air in there. You wanna squeeze all that air out. Put the towel all on the bag. And hold it all together like this. Now, you wanna take your phone or kitchen timer or something like that. Set a timer for five minutes. 
and shake the bag like crazy for five minutes. Shake, shake, shake. Alrighty, your five minutes is up. You have got your icy bag. You open it up in there, stick your hand in, set your bag down, open up the mini bag, and you, my friends, have delicious homemade ice cream. Tastes excellent. Now, you can add chocolate syrup, you can do whatever you want to. Cherries, sprinkles. If you're making ice cream sundae, post a photo of you eating it in the comments. I want to see what you guys did. Bye.